Today I am here with Floral and we're going to be doing a 5x5 Christmas bedroom build off. And the timer starts now. I definitely want to add, of course, a bed because, you know, it is a bedroom, so. Um, let's place that first if I can even get to it. Why am I struggling? Also, I was trying to think like what to do and then I remembered, don't we have comforters now? I thought we had some. Oh my gosh, where is it? Do we not have them anymore? Did they get rid of them? Oh my gosh, where did it go? Oh no. I'm wasting time looking now. <gasps> oh my gosh, I found it. Simple bed comforters. Oh my gosh, I just got real scared. Okay, wait, why is this simple single? Oh, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Look how pretty it is. Like the corner and everything. I love it. It was worth spending three minutes looking for a comforter because I knew it would come in hand. <laughs> I want to place some like cozy blankets now, but I want to do like multiple blanket layers. So there's our bed. I want to make a custom like headboard thing. Also, I found out some people don't have headboards. Like some of y'all are just sleeping with like the wall behind you and I don't understand. Oh, and I need a door. That's kind of important. Why do I always put the door in the left corner? How tall are the pillows? I want to add pillows as well. Usually when I think of like a winter bedroom, I think of like a really cozy, like chunky type of a bed, you know? Okay, so I think this height's pretty solid. I think I'm going to bring it down just a little bit and then I'm going to place another one on top and this is going to be like my, my top headboard piece or whatever. I don't even know what this is called. Just like a more decorative end piece. How many pillows do I need on this bed to cover up the ugliness of the pillows? Why can't we just delete the pillows so I don't have to cover them up like this? I would really appreciate that, Bloxburg. Please and thank you. Does she have any Christmas pillows? Do we have any Christmas pillows? Oh, she does have Christmas stuff. Oh, she's got snowflakes. We definitely want to add snowflakes. So I'm just going to place one of those to remind me. And a Christmas tree. We obviously have to have a Christmas tree. So here's our Christmas tree. Ooh, poinsettias. Let's do a couple poinsettias. Those can be on the, on the, um, what's it called? Um, what's it called? Nightstand? Oh, I like this one. That one's pretty. And the poinsettia can go on top like this. Oh, wait, I need windows. Otherwise, you guys are going to start yelling at me again. These are thick with three C's. There we go. That looks a little bit better. That's as thin as that can go. I think that's going to be our window. This isn't even centered. I love that for me. There is our, our makeshift window. I'm hoping I can put curtains on that. I think I want to do like a hanging light of some sort. There we go. Kind of like that. And then, oh my gosh, baseboards. Got to add my baseboards. I think I'm going to put my door right there instead. Dead. I have a tree in the corner. This is a really big room. Oh my goodness. I'm liking the like whatever style this furniture is. Is it called fancy furniture? Hey, I'm correct. Cool. I'm gonna add a wardrobe because that matches the vibe here. I'm thinking about putting like a couch here. Oh, the Victorian couch. <gasps> wait, wait, this might actually be pretty. Oh, is that too big? You know, we have a lot of room to fill up, so it's fine. I also want to add a fireplace. I kind of want to put some sort of coffee table here, but at the same time, like it's a bedroom. It's not a living room. So like maybe the table should be by the like an end table something like this even though you can't see the bottom part of it like that maybe or do i want a coffee table but i feel like the coffee table would fill up too much space i guess it's not mm, it's not that bad we're just gonna put one for now we can fix that later i definitely need more christmas stuff all the mini holiday trees are my favorite definitely have to add some of those i'm just winging this i really am oh there's icicle <gasps> Ooh, wait this is pretty <laughs> i forgot about all this stuff okay i'm gonna put one of those so i remember i think i'm gonna place these along this back wall Wall. and like I can hide it with the the molding I think that's perfect look at this it's adorable I love it we're just gonna have it stick out the side because no one's looking at it anyways now my only pro oh I don't have flooring I was like wow this is really grassy well, no duh, Sherlock. It's because there's no flooring. How did I forget flooring? I feel so dumb right now. <laughs> Actually, why do I only have one window? I should probably have multiple windows as well. <laughs> okay, as you guys can tell, I'm clearly tired once again. Surprise, surprise. This is a lot of room. I think I want to put another window over here. Oh my gosh, now we can peek at hers. Oh look, there's her tree. Oh my gosh, wait, her windows are so cute. Okay, why am I looking? How many windows should my bedroom have? You know, I'm gonna delete these windows. I don't think I need those. My brain's not working. <laughs> What should I do? What should I do? Oh, blanket. I can put another blanket. Oh my god, my brain's actually not working right now. Mini holiday tree. That's what I wanted. I need a candle. That helps with the vibe. Yeah. Candle. Don't we have like a little leaf thingy? Yes. Leaf. I want to put another candle so bad. Candles are cozy, okay? So like, I think it's okay that- oh my gosh, I can't spell today either. This is just- this is not going well. <laughs> Oh my gosh, a bookshelf. Maybe I should add a bookshelf. Okay, maybe this should be like my dream, my dream Christmas room of some sort. So then I definitely want like multiple bookshelves. Mm, this bookshelf's pretty big, but I, oh, I could put a ladder. Okay, I can give up um, my desk space. I don't think I really need a desk in here because if I had my own house, I'd want my desk in a different room because this is like my resting area. So I think this back area is just gonna be a massive bookshelf because that's, that's my dream. I love books. 
I can put like a little, you know, like one of those little ladders, rolling things. What are they called? Rolling ladders something. This ladder is like really big though. I don't really want it this large. Now I have to fill this thing with books and like other trinkets because if it's just all books, that's really boring. I don't really want anything else on my bookshelf because if I put other things in there, that means I have less room for books. It's more aesthetic and we want aesthetics. So what do I do? <laughs> I should probably add a vine plant because like who doesn't want one of those hanging off their bookshelf? I'm gonna put a candle next to the bookshelves because we don't care about fire hazards in Bloxburg. So let's just move on from that. What else can I put in here? Alpaca, oh reindeer. I'm like, what do we have that's actually Christmas themed? Oh wait, she has an inventory. I can't do this right now. <laughs> I'm dying. Besides candle, I guess candle. It's cute, okay? We're just gonna ignore that it's a fire hazard, okay? Just ignore it, it's fine. Oh, I wanna put a window there actually. A window by the Christmas tree because who doesn't want a window by the Christmas tree? So we're gonna stick a window there. Good enough, good enough. Uh, presents, we need presents under the tree. Does anybody else just not care about the gifts? Like honestly, I just like Christmas because the vibes. All these presents have to be really flat in order. <laughs> oh my God, look how flat that present could be. What could that even be? Can I shrink this? Ooh, oh my gosh, you can make it skinny. I did not know that, that's cool. She she has bows. Oh my gosh, the bows are pretty cute. I don't think I can really stick that anywhere though. Yeah. We just got them, the Victorian ones. Here we go. More fire hazards, I love it. And then I wanna stick the bow. I don't even know if it's possible. Can you, oh, you can resize the bow. I'm placing the bows on basic shapes because I'm gonna stick these underneath the sconces for decor like so. That's cute. I saw it on a on an Instagram reel and um, we're adding it to today's video. Look how pretty. There we go, that's nice. I want some tea in here. So I'm just gonna add a fridge and I will add that at the end. Oh my gosh, I haven't colored anything. Oh my gosh, we have less than 10 minutes. Oh no, oh no. Do you have a whole a candle. Oh, she does. Okay, yay. Dude, this whole wall is empty. Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do here? I like this elegant painting, but it's really big. It's just gonna have to do. And then this can go right here. Sure, it's fine. I think the snowflake would look cute in here. I just, I need to figure out how to make it cute. I guess, you know, if I just keep placing a few of them, maybe my theme is snowflakes. I don't know what else to do in here. Okay, so now we have snowflakes on our ceiling. How lovely. I'm gonna make all the book colors the same for now. And if it doesn't look that great after it's all colored, then I'm gonna change it. But if I don't actually have to change it, then I'm not gonna change it. And I actually like those book colors. So we're just gonna go with that. And then we're just gonna stick this like that. I don't know if I'm liking it. I think I need to make my own ladder to be honest. Is it more work? Yes. But is it a lot prettier? Also yes. So we're just gonna make our own ladder. Oh boy. This will be fun. Something like this. Thick, thick rod. Let's fix that up. Thickness difference. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, we gotta, we gotta fix this. The only problem about making a custom ladder, it has to be even now. And that's gonna be the struggle point right here, I think. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um, wow. This looks great. Thankfully, we have Transform Plus because yikes. You know what, that ladder looks a lot better. I'm glad I changed that. And then there should be like a track, you know? So I need another rod. I'm just gonna use a thinner rod for this. And then there should be like a track, you know? I want a track bookshelf case so bad. Like, heck yeah. We can make it look like it has little wheels. I wonder how different our aesthetics are. Cause she's very like light and airy and I'm more of like a darker color scheme type of person. So I'm very curious what hers is gonna look like. Okay, here's our wheel. And I'm just gonna make it a little bit larger. Oh, I forgot to turn it. It should be this way. There we go. There we go, our thing on wheels. <laughs> this is great. I'm feeling better about this build right now. I was pretty worried. But I think this is actually pretty cute. So we have this like little area over here and I'm kind of feeling a little painting spot. I feel like that's pretty cute. We have a Victorian um, stool if I can find it. And then I can have a little cute table and I can put a little paint on it or something. I don't know. Here we go. We got some brushes, even though it's makeup brushes. Still, it's fine. We've got paint cans and um, some pens, I guess, wouldn't hurt. And then we can put a... Oh, wait, we do actually have paintbrushes now. I lied. I lied. My bad. Um, We also have this random thing in the corner and I'm kind of feeling a bench for some reason. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of cute and I can stick a pillow on it. She has a heart pillow, but I can put a little heart pillow here and I can put another pillow there. That's cute. Man, these colors are hard. You know what? I think I'm going to stop here. I'm going to color on my own and then you guys can be surprised with the color scheme because maybe I'll change some stuff. So next time I record, I'll see you guys when we're touring. Okay, so here is my bedroom. When you enter, there's like a little Ooh. seat and 
and um, like a fireplace with a little tree corner because I thought there was a lot of room for this. Oh yeah, I added one too, don't worry. <laughs> I put like an accent wall. I really like it actually. I was really hesitant about like using such a dark color and I just tried to make the bed super cozy for like winter and everything. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's kind of interesting. We have like a, not a similar layout, but at the same time we kind of do. You'll see when you see mine. I saw a fridge outside your plot and I was so confused. Oh my gosh, dude, I was looking for like a tea or a cappuccino or something and you don't have anything, girl. So I couldn't put anything, <laughs> but it's okay. Oh my gosh, I, I don't make any food. I'm so sorry. I found this building hack on YouTube, so I recreated it even though, um, I hope it's not cheating because it goes outside of it, but <laughs> I thought it was- crazy. I saw that, I was like, hey! <laughs> and that is my bedroom. I really like the colors, honestly. I spent so long, like, earlier today just deciding what colors I wanted to do. I had, like, five options, and I was choosing it, like, just oh before we built. Dang, you were prepared. I just went into it knowing nothing. <laughs> I didn't know the layout, but I needed the colors or I would have gone over the time limit. Yeah, I went slightly over that, but it's okay. They don't have to know. I don't know if you saw this, but I put like a ton of snow and snowy trees around here. And then it looked weird because you could see the grass. So I got rid of all of it. Oh, no, I didn't see that. I was trying not to peek. I, I tried. I really, really tried not to peek. <laughs> I saw your door and um, I realized that we did not have to put a basic door. So I kind of regret my door choice, but okay. it's just so you can walk in, right? Oh so come on in. God. I went for like a cozy vibe. This is insane. It's so decorative. Thank you. Thank you. You fit a whole sofa in this bedroom. I am so impressed. I didn't know what to do. I was like, wow, I have a lot of floor space. I should probably put something there. And yeah, it, it actually, it worked out pretty well. I wanted more green in here, to be honest. So I just added a lot of plants and, and trees. It, two it kinda trees. Works. Wait, you have three big Christmas trees. How many trees do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven, eight, wait, nine, nine trees. I think I have nine in here. I love like all the I have details. a problem. Thank you. So Thank you. good. I have, you did so many textures. I feel like I'm so behind. <laughs> it's okay. It's just our different styles. There's a oh, ladder. and then look at the chocolates. Yeah, I tried to make it kind of like um my own bedroom if I wanted like a, a winter kind of cozy bedroom, you know? And I was like, well, I'm a reader, so I obviously need a bookshelf. And I am obsessed. I don't know if you've seen like videos of people gliding on these ladders like across their bookshelves. Oh, and so I'm like, nice. I want one. So I did it. <laughs> I love this. Wait, where's the chocolate you put? Oh, yeah. this is adorable. It's a cute little yeah. tray. Oh my god, even the candles on the walls are like how did you make this it's a basic shape i just stuck it in the wall <laughs> i would have never thought of that that looks so cute thanks saw it on instagram well that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed floral stuff will be linked in the description for you guys make sure to check her out and we'll see you guys next time